yes 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 i'm back again with my big mouth and today i'm going to tell you guys let me see the 10 or my top 10 yoruba movies of all time you get you know for the fact that people love the way i say this some of these actors have been calling me like ah put our video put our movie in number two and i'm like no i don't think my prescribes will want this it will against my work ethics and stuff oh sorry excuse me who is this one hello it's Femi Jacob, so eh? Uh, where should I put your movie? Number one, for what? Because you acted inside. No, I should put it at number ten. Okay, you know what, Femi Jacob? Let's do that. You show me love. I don't want five hundred k. I will put that for number five. You know, go show. Me, you know, go show me love. Subscribers, they wait. They don't vest me. Anyway, my apologies, guys. That was uh, Femi Jacobs, you know, trying to cajole your boy to, you know, do me a favor. No, as a matter of fact, number 10, The Taxi Driver. Now, the test for we have The Taxi Driver. This is a modern Yoruba movie. And this movie has shown across all, I mean, both local and international stations in Nigeria. Now, this movie talks about a 31 year old young man. Guess who? Femi Jacobs. You can't give me money. Your movie's on top 10. I will just ignore his call. Anyway, that's one year old young man played by Femi Jacobs. After the death of his father, he was a young mechanic. He moved to the city and took over his father's job as a taxi driver. You understand? Like, that was his inheritance. I guess maybe that's why he couldn't pay me, but who cares? Anyway, after collecting his dad's taxi, he encounters trouble from both assassins and a group of weirdos in Lagos State. <laughs> With karma, I mean, I don't know what else you call it, but he didn't pay me, so yeah, figures. That led to him finding several truths about his father and a lot of things happened in the movie. But overall, the movie is quite captivating and it features several other Yoruba movie stars in the industry. And the movie is quite heart touching and funny at the same time. So if you're quite emotional, you can go for heart touching. If you just want to laugh and enjoy yourself, you can just stick with funny. And this movie to date has already backed several nominations and awards in the industry. With all this award admission, Femi refused to pay me. So, guys, you see this in number 10, you know it's Femi's fault. Don't tell me to you. Yes, number 9, number 9, we have Suru Lere. Hmm. And this movie is about a young man who met a young, nice lady. A nice omotoshan. You get my point. All those romantic things that you did. You know, let's just keep it PG. Well, and vows, well, he met her and he vows to become rich in order to win her heart over. So clearly the girl said no and he's like, I must get money. I you know what they do, how it happens now. Now the story is actually funny and has heart-touching scenes. It hits on several lessons regarding enthusiasm, patience and more. And Suri has been a movie that I love and I think for people have seen who have also seen this movie, they actually love it. I don't know what the guy did for money. You see the movie and figure it out. Why are you asking me? I should say it. Go and download the movie and watch it. Uh -huh. Anyway, number eight, we have Iwa Lewa. Pardon me if I didn't pronounce that correctly. This is another famous Nollywood movie. It teaches a lesson to so many young ladies out there today. It talks about the story of a lady who believed that beauty is more important than intelligence and good behavior. But I don't, I don't blame the society today. Once you have fine body feels, you have sense. Have you noticed that thing where people fight and everyone points to the ugly guy like me now? They'll point to me and like, okay, now you, you did, but let's not go out of topic. Well, she believes beauty is more important than intelligence and good behavior. And as the movie went on, she learned her lessons and I think the hard way, which prompted her to change her views about reality. The movie tells a lot, like the storytelling is mm, sweet and very deep. You guys should definitely see that movie. Number seven, we have Timu Timu. That's why to be like Timu Timu, but okay, maybe it's be like Timu Timu. Now, this movie was widely accepted by viewers all over the country. It talks about a wife who got herself caught up in deep regrets and sorrow, all because she won't get a child for her husband. Typical Hollywood movie, but it has a twist. Now, the story progression is very professional and touching at the same time. I mean, why won't you be touched? This woman is suffering her husband, you don't want to be touched. You have a hard heart, you should break it. I'll break it. Heart of ice, break it. Exactly. Now, if it just stars like Odunlade, you know, 
Rose Odika, Kemi Apolabi, and a host of others. And this will be interesting. You guys should watch it and see what happens at the end. It's really touching. It just keep your tissue close by, you know, for all you emotional people, like emotional like us. Number six, we have Santo Alapata. I, I hope I'm not murdering the language, but if I am, just pardon me. It's just blame Femi Jacobs for not giving me the money, so I'm a little pissed. You get my point. Now, this movie tells the story of Santo and his father, who happened to be a meat butcher. All those guys that meet 400, they were cutting small for you. That's what the movie is about. Now, in this movie, Santo's father died a strange death while he was trying to get a meat butcher's permit for his son. That's he wanted to give his son the business, but he died a strange death in the process. Now, after the mysterious death of his father, Santo decided to prepare himself spiritually. Jazz, juju, voodoo, whatever, black magic, any kind of magic, whatever you call it, that's what he did. So he would not die, meet the same fate that his father met. However, as he began to have command over these spiritual entities, they doing strange things with them. You're, you're waiting for the end of the story, have you? Go and watch the movie. Now, this story is very captivating and it went viral immediately. It was released. So watch it. I'm not going to give you the full story. Just go there, see the movie for yourself. And of course, come back to this channel and tell us what you think. Now, number five, we have Talaro Lee. Mm, this one is not just an interesting Yoruba movie. This one is an interesting Nollywood movie. I'm not saying this because the producer paid me. Oh. Um, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying because it's number five, so you should know how much, you know how much I have. Now. What is one million naira? Uh, you know, I'm off my recharge card, but okay. Uh -huh. Back to it, Talaroli. Uh, this movie genders on, focuses on gender inequality. You know when if like like all about like the dad who takes his son, his sons more important than his daughters, that kind of story. Now we see that. As the story progressed, they finally found a way to solve the problem. I don't know how. You should ask the producer. I have his number already, so I already called him to tell me. But you guys should see the movie because you don't have his number. So um, yeah, this movie is meaningful and it helps improve family lives. Like that's what it borders on, and I would recommend this movie for you guys. Number four, we have Gang 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 Gang. Hey, that sounds like all this action film them working, you know, gang, 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 you know, that's it. Anyway, Gongo is a popular movie among the Yorubas and also across the country. Now, it asks the questions whether a person should stay with a single part, a partner that's the same with one partner for the rest of their lives, or is it better to look for another partner? I know some of you like that since you'll be changing them like what about an iPhone case. Anyway. Okay, heaven is the goal for me. Give your life to Christ. And also, you find the real answers to the questions in this movie. I don't want to give any spoilers, so just see it. The question, the, the problem is there. The movie gave a use to a better solution to how to solve problems like this. And unlike some other movies, I think this movie is deeply rooted in the Yoruba culture and really brought out the essence of their culture and tradition. So, you guys should really, really see this movie. Gang, gang, gang. We have Aruba. Mm, this movie about love, romance, touch me, I touch you, do me, I do you. You know all those kind of things that all you sports people like. Anyway, for people like us, <laughs> like in the seminary, but every time part time, we are not like you. But I know you guys will love, you like to hear about these things, love. Anyway, this movie talks about the romantic relationship between a young man and a lady. On how they got to know each other, grow their relationship with deeper intimacy. Uh, it's just similar with most movies, but not all similar with most of our movies out there that tells you things you should be doing when you are married or things you should do and not do. Not that I'm saying you do things when you're not married, but things you should not do, you know, just figure it out. Don't let Mommy Gio come for you. Wagba, uh, it's sweat. <laughs> Anyway, passing strong message to viewers, and this movie is actually a Yoruba, full Yoruba movie, but it gained nationwide acceptance immediately it was dropped. No. Number two, we have Abimbola. Mm, Abimbola sounds like the name of one girl I used to know. I think I used to know. Anyway, this movie talks about a woman, her sister, and her husband. In the movie, this woman seeks for help for her sister in teaching her husband a lesson of his life. You know that thing that some girls will just stand, they want to put you in the middle, they want to use you to play, 
Kusu and chest and draft. Yeah, this lady was trying to do that with her husband. You know, the when the plan started, everything was going smooth, you know. Let's show him Pepe, give her power, let's do this, let's do that. But along the line, along the line, as we go, when everything is there, you get my point. The, I think the other started taking interest in the wife's sister. And I think the lady, whether she's reciprocated or not, I did not know. The brother didn't tell me. I'm just letting you guys know. So go see that movie. It is a lovely movie. Number one. Number one, this one should scare you. She sent chills, see through your spine. Get me. Except you're a Christian like myself. Number one is Oboni. Mm. Oboni. Now, this movie talks about a hardworking laborer who falls ill and discovers that he needs a kidney transplant to continue living. I mean, you're a laborer and you're getting big man disease, but mm, it's none of my business. Though. Now, due to lack of money, he found it impossible to raise the cash needed for his transplant. As time went on, a friend showed up and said, well, he's going to help him on the condition that he joins the Obuni cult. Now, whether this guy decided to join the Obuni cult or not, I don't have an idea. You download the movie and see for yourself. So maybe even if you two you want to join, I didn't say join. If you just want to join, you know, I can help give you the blueprint on what it takes to join the Obuni cult. So that's it from me, guys. These are my 10 Rebound movies. Don't mind Femi Jacob since he decided not to pay me. I decided to put this movie in number 10. I would have left it out the list, but because of you no know, brotherly love, so it won't look like I'm a bad person. So not just put it in number 10. That's the list for now. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you. You'll see this face.